A terrific, beautiful night here in downtown Los Angeles. Our broadcast here at the Sold Out Staples Center. Welcome, everyone, to a great Sunday night with the NBA here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan here alongside my colleagues Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke will be joining us from the sideline. Welcome to Los Angeles. Home court advantage for the Lakers. We are live at the Staples Center. Presented by State Farm, let's take a look now at the Boston Celtics opening lineup. And for the Lakers, Harper is out there with Bryant. Then it's O'Neal, and it's Knight, and it's the fourth. Off goes to the Lakers. Left side, Bryant. Here is Anderson. To the inside. Nice ball movement by Boston. Another shot. Gets it to go. Pierce has got the game going here with the first basket for the Celtics. That's an old-fashioned finish there, guys. Going to the finger roll to get the easy two. And a nice shot by Bryant. You know, Kevin, they were a step late on their defensive rotation, and that helped them get right to the rim. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Now, Kevin, here's what the Celtics head coach had to say when we spoke just a few minutes ago. Offensively, he knows their shots are going to be challenged inside, going up against the team with some shot blocking in the middle. He said they have to keep the ball moving, and he's had them practicing their in-between shots as well. Guys, those shots can be tricky, but very effective when a shot blocker is around. Back to you. Thank you, Doris, and quite a focus for the game here early on, and an important one too, guys. Yeah, and they know how tough a task it's going to be to take on this defense. They've got to focus on that aspect right away. Well, that's the priority in the scouting report. You face a team this good defensively, you're thinking about how we need to attack it. And then it's a matter of executing once you get out there. The feed to Pierce. Kicks it to Anderson. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Rebounded by the Lakers. Here's Rice. No good on the three. The Celtics have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. He kicks to Anderson. 105 left here in the first quarter. And that one's good. You have a nice high percentage look right there. Lakers have gone just one of four to get this game started. Here's O'Neal, and he lays it straight in. Outstanding job there to absorb the contact and guide it in. That's how you impose your will against the defender. He came to play. Well, he's an effort guy, Kevin. And so often his points come from second or third chance opportunities by hitting the glass and really staying relentless in his pursuit of the basketball. And, of course, his aggressive finishing ability, something that really ignites his team. Sometimes two points can count for a whole lot more than that. And so it's Boston with it. McCartney. Here's Petit, the second chance effort. And boy, that looked like Golden. And yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. And I'm not a popular call, as you can hear in the background. Not at all. Unanimous disapproval of that whistle. Walker. The Lakers have shot just one free throw, missing that one earlier. Well, you look at last season's numbers, guys. They're down below 70% as a team from the line. And, you know, there was plenty of blame to go around for that. I mean, it wasn't just one or two guys. I mean, for the most part, the entire team struggled. And that one is off. Celtics making a switch here. Second free throw, no good. Celtics leading by four. This is to Anderson. Hits the target from 18 feet. Anderson's got his second bucket. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Bryant. And Boston with the rebound. 
Left side, Walker. Here's Anderson, and it's blocked. Outside, Rodman. That is good. Here's Anderson. The shot misses. And we reach the end of the first quarter. The Celtics lead by four. After this break, we'll be 10. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And the Celtics guys, what jumps out to you, stats -wise? So difficult to get a shot off against this defense. They are really playing hard. Yeah, they're playing hard, and they pride themselves on making it tough for their opponents. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So for the Lakers right now, O'Neal is out there with Rodman. Then it's Fisher. Then there's Harper. Here's Rodman using his post move to get the two points. Rodman's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Lakers. Number nine. He's covered by Fisher. Here's McCarty. O'Neal with the rebound. He's one guy the defense is not afraid to leave open from that range, and for obvious reasons. Off his leg, and they're saying he kicked the ball. So both teams changing it up here. Pass to Bryant. The leader. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. The Celtics with the lead. He feeds it to Anderson. Here's Petit. Goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Boy, that kind of hustle you just love to see. And it gets his teammates fired up. Yeah, especially with the powerful slam to finish things off. Here's Bryant. And again, the Lakers no good. That's not his shot at all. Way too far beyond his range. I'll tell you, it had been some time coming, uh, but really last year the dominant core that the Celtics had been built around started to show their age at times. Oh, that's blocked. They're really hurting with his performance here. He just hasn't played up to his standard so far. And Anderson gets it to go. Anderson's got six points. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And the Celtics, Steve, as you mentioned, they seem to realize that their window is closing as the team got older. In fact, there is some age on there. Hopefully they can navigate that and play a few more years together. Yeah, well, at the trade deadline, they explored a lot of options to maybe try to get younger to bring some youth in, but they decided to stick with it. Had a strong playoffs and now a new look roster. Some new pieces, but still equipped to compete. 52 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Let's it go with a three. And that one's good. Or he's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Time running down now at the end of the quarter. They could go two for one if they decide to. And I think that's what they need to do if the, if the shot's there. The Celtics making a switch here. Forty-four seconds left in the second quarter. Mercy. Ori with the rebound. Ori's got three rebounds now in this one. Launches it. And Boston with the rebound. Passes it to Walker. The Celtics working the ball around now. Ori with the rebound. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Here's Harper. Carries the long-range jumper. Harper's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Three seconds left. Number 11 gets it to go. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. It's the Celtics up four. And now... Brought to you by Sprint. From the 2K Sports Studios on a beautiful Sunday night, it's time for the Halftime Report. Boston leading against the Lakers. Nice ball movement offensively, making the extra pass, and it's paying off. 
And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Celtics leading by four. You know, with the Lakers, it's all about winning titles. Anything else is considered a disappointment. And they were tested early, though. On the court right now for the Celtics. Lakers shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Anderson against Harper. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. We go back to that matchup for the Lakers against Denver. Kobe's illness had the uh, stomach flu, our chest out with the suspension, Meta World Peace. You know, had gotten the late regular season suspension with the elbow to the side of the head of James Harden. Uh, Steve, they were certainly facing their struggles. Yeah, and it, it, those struggles caught up to them in the next round, Kevin, when they uh, lost to the Oklahoma City Thunder, the younger, more talented team winning in that one. So for the Lakers, you know, moving forward, they've got a lot of talent, but it's aging talent. And sooner or later, they're going to have to get younger on that roster. The pass tonight. Wrights, Pierce covering. Nailed from three-point land. Rice has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Here is Anderson. He's got six. Here's Mercer. Here's Patapico. Yeah, just one for four here in the third quarter. So very slow start for this club. Shot is off. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, Byron Mullins back in clinics with youngsters in juvenile hall to try and help them out. He's continued that good work in recent off seasons playing against inmates at a prison in Ohio. Mullen said, I know people have their own opinion that if you're in prison, they shouldn't really get that freedom. But they're doing the time for what they did. I could be anywhere else, but I'll be in here playing. Basketball is basketball. Kevin? Nice stuff, Doris. Thank you. Back to O'Neal. Here's Rice, and again it's the Lakers from deep. That's nine straight points coming off three three-pointers. The defense just getting shelled. Steve, the threes are killing him. I think they've got to find a way to chase him off the three-point line. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Harper gets to Bryant. He dishes it tonight. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Here's Pierce. Second shot opportunity. And it's Harper with the rebound. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. They get it back. Here's Knight. The kick out to Bryant. For the lead. Can't get it to go. Some of the shots he's taken have been real head scratches. I mean, come on. He's out there playing like it's a game of horse at the park. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. The Lakers trail. O'Neal is his tonight. Harper with the lead pass. Here's Bryant. Takes it into the teeth of the knee and converts the layup. Bryant's got his second bucket tonight. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. At the line for one. Bryant no good on the free throw. Here's Walker. Feeds it to Anderson. Shoots from the baseline. No good. Here's O'Neal. The shot is off. And so after three quarters of play and some great offensive output, this one is tied. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up, and we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game segment. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. For the Lakers, it's been an uncontainable game from their small forward position. He's used to being the primary scorer for his team, and with the way he has played here, you can see why. We'll see if he has enough left in the tank to come out strong in the fourth. Doris, thanks. His first three quarters have been outstanding. 
But he's put so much energy in those first three quarters, Kevin. You, you wonder, does he have anything left in the tank to keep it going in the fourth? You know what, Steve? I'd be surprised if there's any drop-off here. As hot as he's been, he should be able to just ride that wave of momentum and adrenaline for as long as he needs to. And for the Celtics. Kevin, he's one of the best finishers we've got in this league. I mean, he rarely misses an opportunity to score inside when he has position. Also, there's one other thing I've noticed with him. I mean, he's great at stripping the ball away from you at the last possible moment. That's not an easy play to make, but he seems to have developed the knack for doing just that. And for the Lakers. Here's Bryant. And he makes good on the way. Yeah, and there's been zero effort defensively by both these clubs tonight. And don't let that high score fool you. I mean, it's a product of poor defense more than great offense. There's the dish to Anderson. Over Fisher. Anderson's shot is off. So far, he hasn't made much of a contribution at the offensive end. Bryant's shot is good. Bryant's got four points now in the quarter. Carving him up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Kevin, the head coach for the Celtics had some instruction for his guys during that break. As this game enters winning time, and it really could go either way, he wanted the chance to check in, make sure they're all on the same page, and sticking to the game plan to close it out. Kevin? And I'll tell you what, they might want to pay a little more attention to him defensively uh, than they did on that last trip. Stolen by Pierce. All by himself. That's a gun punch right there, Clark. Cough up the ball at one end and get beaten on the break at the other. Yeah, that really hurts. That's painful. Kicks to O'Neal. Here's Rice. And the whistle blows, and it's going to be an over-the-back call here. That's number four on him, and he's got to start being aware of how close he is to six. I mean, he's got... One more foul before being DQ'd, that is. And the second of two is good. That increases their lead to six. The Lakers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Here's O'Neal. Money! And now they trail by just four. Good defense, but you gotta love the finish with the finger roll over the top. It's tipped. And here's Walker. First free throw missing for him. Anderson, he's checked in for the Celtics. He's able to hit the second one, and that puts them up by five. I'm sure he would have liked to have had all of those, but he still padded their lead a little bit at least. Nails it! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. He is always so in control, guys. Even when he's going hard to the hoop. Very skilled finisher. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. And I'll tell you what, those two free throws give them some much-needed breathing room, guys. It's now a two-possession game. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Bryant, it's in! What a beautiful shot to Brand to within three. And my goodness, that one got him going. Did it ever. They're on cloud nine. What an atmosphere here. This is incredible. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean, you've got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses. Timeout called the Lakers. They trail by five. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 19 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Rice. Buries it. Boy, oh, nice tip in to salvage the points from the missed shot. And it made it work. It did, yeah. And those second chance points, Clark, they do add up. Yes, sir. They sure do. That's why boxing out is so important. Defensively, you can't just let a guy get to the rim and uh, not put a body on him. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a five-point game. 
those free throws should put a cap on this one. Great job at the one. Three from the inbound. Bryant can't get it to go. And so they foul intentionally. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. Second free throw misses. Walker the pass to Pierce, and that's an intentional foul. He gets the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Here's O'Neal. Here's Bryant. Cranes it from downtown. And the damage they're doing from three-point range here in the second half is amazing. And I mean, they're always a threat to spray home some threes now, but not like this. And so it's the Boston Celtics with the W. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for joining us as we leave you with the Jordan player of the game.